Hi, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be making a little bit different of a video. I'm gonna do a product review of something that I get asked about um, quite a bit, partially because I had used this product probably four, almost five years ago, tried to test it out, and posted about it a few times, which sparked some interest from people that follow me. And most recently, I've been seeing a really, really hard push for advertising for this product and the way that they advertise it and the claims that they make don't necessarily line up with my experience with that product. So what I'm talking about are these, the Victory Insoles. And you've probably seen ads on this on social media or seen other athletes, people post about it. And the claims that these people make are all you have to do is purchase this product, slip it into your shoe, and you will run faster and jump higher. And the reason that they say that is because this is a carbon fiber insole, and their claim is that it returns energy. So it's allowing you to run faster and jump higher simply by putting this into your shoe. So the way that they do their advertising, or at least the ads that I've seen on Instagram specifically, show a guy holding the insole like this and he pulls the insole out and it snaps back and hits his arm and he says that is what we call return of energy and then the next thing that they do is a little shoe test and i'm going to show you that shoe test but also explain why that shoe test is a bunch of bullshit. here's the shoe test that they like to do they'll take a normal shoe and this shoe right now has the insole that came inside of it so I don't have anything special in there. And then they'll take the shoe and they'll crush it down like this. And they'll let go of it. And the shoe kind of pops back up a little bit. And they say, that's your normal shoe. Now all you have to do, wrong side of the foot. Now all you have to do is slide in the Victory insole, do the same thing, and the shoe springs further than it would be if you had your normal insole in it. But here's the problem with this. When was the last time you ever saw anybody's foot in this position during a sport, during sprinting, during running, during jumping, doing anything athletically? When was the last time anybody's foot ever got into this position? I'll tell you what. If you have seen it, trust me, that person ain't running fast or jumping high. They're laying on the ground waiting for a stretcher to come take them off the field. So the reason that this is bullshit is because they're selling you a false hope that all you have to do is purchase an insole, slip it into your shoe, and you're going to automatically be faster and jump higher without having to do a single repetition extra in the gym without having to put in any extra work, all you have to do is put this in. And the reason that I tested these out is because the guy that created this company, or at least was involved with creating the products, used to be a bobsledder. So he followed along with bobsled athletes. Um, it was my rookie year when they reached out to me and said, hey, we want to send you a pair of insoles, see if you want to try them out, let us know what you think. I said, sure, fine. So he gave them to me, I put them in my shoes. One thing I noticed, really quickly is that they made my shoe extremely uncomfortable if you notice like the forced arch that it does the design of this is that it wants to kind of bend right there and then snap back allow you to get more force or jump higher as they claim but all that really did is put my foot in a really uncomfortable position in my shoe and i felt immediately that i was like striking the ground differently or at least it felt different and that i was running a little bit differently the other thing that we did is we wanted to put their claims to the test. And at the time, I was living at the Olympic Training Center and we had access to force plates. And what we would do a lot of times, either on a Monday or a Friday, we would do some force plate testing before our session just to kind of get some, re, uh, get some numbers, kind of see how well you've been adapting to your training, how those numbers go from week to week. And for a couple of weeks there, I put these insoles in and did a couple jumps and then I took them out and did a couple jumps. These insoles gave zero additional force output 
zero additional height on my jump. And because I think the way that it made my foot sit in my shoe, there was actually a couple tests where I did worse with these in because like I said, it forces your foot to be in a really uncomfortable position. And then I took it out, put my normal insoles in and immediately jumped higher just because it was a more comfortable feeling shoe. And I didn't feel like my foot was in that weird kind of like forced arch position using these insoles. I know what a lot of people are gonna say. They're gonna say, well, there's track shoes or there's running shoes that have carbon fiber insoles in them and it's right and there are, and I actually wear them. The ones that I wear for a lot of my warm-up drills and a lot of like my plyo drills have carbon fibers in them, but the carbon fiber is positioned in a way where it allows the shoe to be stiff. You don't want extreme flexibility in your shoe, especially when sprinting. You want that shoe to be stiffer that allows you to create hard ground contacts and allows you to push off. You don't ever see anybody hit the ground their foot folds and then shoots off because that's not a strong way to apply force into the ground whether you're running whether you're jumping it doesn't matter the people who are the most explosive are generally able to create the most amount of stiffness throughout that lower limb so that's why you'll see a lot of shoes that have some carbon fiber the other thing is the carbon fiber that's in these shoes kind of flows with the sh the way that your foot is going to be positioned. So this shoe specifically, the carbon fiber actually comes down and then arches its way back up, kind of the natural position that your toes want to kind of push off from. That may allow you to get a little bit more of energy return, but I think if anything, the biggest benefit that I've found from having carbon fiber in my running shoes is I'm a bigger athlete. A lot of running shoes aren't made for guys that are 220 pounds, and that's how much I weigh. A lot of these running shoes are designed for 130 pound marathon runners or people who weigh 150 pounds, maybe they run the 1600 meter competitively. They're not built for guys that are 200 pounds trying to do repetitions on sprints and jumps and that kind of stuff. I've found that the shoe that has carbon fiber in it, one, stays stiff for longer, so the shoe actually lasts a little bit longer for the amount of pounding that I can put, and two, it just feels more comfortable when doing sprints and jumps because you have that stiffness in the shoe that you actually want. You don't want a soft shoe that's gonna be folding, moving around, and bending on you as you're trying to be doing maximal effort sprints or sled sprints or whatever it is. And even, the track spikes that I wear. These also have a carbon fiber insole, or have a carbon fiber plate throughout the middle of it. But again, it doesn't force your foot into that arch position. That plate kind of bends down and then comes back up in the toe box, allowing for a natural position when you're doing a toe off sprint or anything like that. The last thing I want to say about products that are like this is that they thrive on selling that false hope that you're going to immediately get some sort of benefit from simply making a purchase. And it's the problem with a lot of people have when it comes to training is they would rather spend $200 on trying to increase their vertical or make them jump higher or buy a supplement that's going to allow them to get stronger, whatever it is. They would rather spend that $200 versus spend 200 hours training for it. And it's a lot of, I see a lot of young athletes who want everything right now. They see social media, they see people doing these amazing athletic feats, or they see people training hard in the gym, and they wanna be there right now. And I get a lot of this, because I post my training, and a lot of the stuff that I do looks like it's very extreme, or it's like the most elite version of whatever training that I'm doing. When in reality, I've been training since I was 15 years old, I've been trying to be strong. I've been trying to be explosive and fast as I can since I was 15. Now I'm 37. That's over 20 years of me trying to do this that's put me in a position to do some of the things that I can do now. And this is the type of stuff that people think is going to get you there. They don't want to put in the work. They just want to swipe their credit card and hope that that's going to allow them to be better. So that's my product review for the day. Hope you guys liked it. Don't fall for this shit and get to the gym and work your ass off.